Now, Tsringla, it is 12 p.m. here. <laughs> Are you all ready? Very good, <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> okay. So first, I would like to show you how to uh, make a simple. Uh, Setting up. Call... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear. Yes, Rinpoche. I think um, uh, someone was unmuted, but uh, maybe can I please just introduce you first for those yes, who don't please, know please, you? Please, <laughs> yeah. Please, please. yeah. So. Welcome to session 33 of Living is Dying. My name is Sering and today it gives me great pleasure to welcome our special guest Nagpa Karma Lundrup Rinpoche to the Living is Dying program and Ross, Annie Zangmo and Annie Shenpen are our tech support. We begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and other lands and recognise their connection to land, water and culture. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And Nakpakama Lundrup Mbache is joining us live from Dhamsala uh, to introduce and perform a Rewa Sancho ceremony. And uh, if you wish to join Kama Rinpoche in chanting the Rewa Sancho in Tibetan, there is a link in the chat box for the text in both English and Tibetan from Lotsawa House, if you haven't already prepared that. Um, for those meeting Kama Rinpoche for the first time, he is a Nakpa or lay yogi practitioner of the Nyingma lineage of Tibetan Buddhism. He specializes in the Dujum Tursa, Northern Treasures or Jungta, and the Dzogchen traditions of meditation and performs various ancient Tibetan rituals, rites and ceremonies for living, dying and after yeah. death. Nagpa Kama Lundrup Rinpoche was recognized as the reincarnation of a 19th century Tibetan Mahasiddha called Wariksal Tongme by Kabji Hongka Doji Rinpoche and Turton Kunsum Lingpa Rinpoche. 
and for many years Rinpoche has been held in high esteem as a ritual master in both the Tibetan and Western Dharma communities. He has had a lot of experience in funeral rites and later in this session there will be a wonderful opportunity to ask Kama Rinpoche questions you may have around preparation for before or after death. So now I um, hand over to you Rinpoche. Thank you. Okay, Tashi Delek, everyone. And first of all, I'd like to show you what offerings I made and to show you how to start a very simple uh, smoke offering with incense sticks and incense uh, powder that I prepared. So please, uh, my son Rigzin is assisting me, so you will, he will show us. <laughs> So these are the simple offerings I have, some fruits, and this is uh, milk, especially for the Nagas, and also uh, you can say vegetarian. And this is uh, black tea with fruits, and this is Tibetan beer called uh, Chang, and this is a Tsampa, which is uh, we call Chema, or this Tsampa offering. Then there's uh, again another coconut skull with the Chang Tibetan beer and there's some long life pills and then I'd like to show you how to uh, make a simple smoke so please have a look this is all ash here yeah? and this is metal so it doesn't catch fire so first of all I will light it on this butter lamp and you put it horizontal. Oh, there is it. Horizontal like this. Then I prepared. I have mixed all kinds of sun or herbs in this. So what you do is put on this and then it makes smoke. This is the most simple way of doing it. So for this, you can you may buy the cheapest actually instant sticks, but make sure you have got very good herbal the powdered combination. Like this, then it catches fire, cut fire and produces smoke. So this is the simplest. And you may also just light one instant stick. That's also fine. It all boils down to our motivation and our intention why we are doing this ceremony. And we are doing this for the sake of all sentient beings so that their temporary uh, obscurations will be purified. And once again, they will be able to see their clear blue sky like nature of mind, which we call it Buddha nature mind or the Buddha. And after this, it's very important to bless with Ram Yam Ka Oma 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 And this is the mantra for purification, not only purifying any impurities here, also purifying our uh, mind stream with if you have any impure motivations. Okay, so that's done. And we also have the smoke offering, which I do every day, actually. So it's, it's really nice environment. Then I'll start uh, with a real sumchip. And since it is Nyingmapa practice, my Lama Gaja Kamdru Rinpoche, late Gaja Kamdru Rinpoche said that when you start any Nyingma, ceremony or liturgy or prayer is very important to do the seven line prayer to Guru Rinpoche three times. So let's all do it together. Okay. 
Te manjo ne shi su ta kordo kando man beko ke ge je su ta ndu shin ge la ge re shi su se ngo do pe ma shi de ngo ai wo ge ye ge no ja ta te ma ge sa ro dong bo la yan ze cho ge ma do ye ตอนเดิมมันเบิกเกเกเจซอนดานโดเกชิเกลับเทเรเชนโซเซโกโรเปมาเกเกโอโอโอโอเกเกเกโนจานทามเปมาเกซาโรตองโบลายันเซโชเ
Kanya Mazeje, Jungle, Nimbe, Wandar in the Pema, Ted and Tela, Kaburo Nazi, Kimbrosa, Dobe Sele, Tedereka. Also doing Rio Sanjay with us. Oh, my home bends on Guru Bema said, Oh, my home bends on Guru Bema said, Oh, my home Sit down, Mamma, and Zangur Bemas. Sit down, Mamma, and Zangur Bemas. 
Oma o meza gurbe ma se da 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 ma se Oma ahum benzan guru be masi da oma benzan guru be masi da oma benzan guru be masi da oma benzan guru be masi de ho ramayama ikha nong be nga le san ze sao ba me de yi she ge ne ze kya so jim bo kha ya do to wa ra yi jo oma Om aho name sawada da 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 mahayo bijo mugete sawande ga inga de sawara na imanga ga na kam soha name sawada da 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 mahayo bijo mugete sawande ga inga de Sabara na imam gagana kam soha na me sawada da gada bahayo bijo mugede sawade ga inga de sabara na imam gagana kam soha
ชาเดสิเดพาโตเจญโยเรจิชังโยสัญจรบุชิมะเกปานังเกเยเรจิเกบานยัมบาเมบายคอนเนคอนโตเทวราชิมะโหเตสมสังเกกุรุรบุชิ
of Lung Chesa. Hong Hong O, Yenna Toje, Yenna Toje, Maya Sengye, Sogun Gunji Nogun Da Sijay, Tengyan Dalo Yenna Kodan Ge, Toje, Kodo Wangi Di Jela, Tamden 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 Di Mani Rada Sapare Wara Yetam Balenda Saka Then I think there's a request for the loom of Sur. God, there's a Surti. White Sur. It's called White Sur and Red Sur. So White Sur is more or less like for vegetarians and the red soup is it's like non-vegetarians. So this is a request for the white soup and someone requested me for the loom of this. So I will just give you the loom. Sangyanjovara Yomanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi,omanipemehunhi
Nomahonchinchengyongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongyeongye
uh, how she doesn't understand how a polluting substance such as smoke uh, that she considers a polluting substance can uh, purify. Ah, yeah, very, very good uh, question. Actually, I asked this same question to my late friend, uh, Mr. Tom. He actually died recently. I asked him because he's, he was a scientist and a mathematician and very, very knowledgeable about, especially about global warming, pollution. So I asked him, I asked uh, Tom, uh, uh, the smoke offering, does it really affect or does it really add, uh, you can say, pollution to the global warming? He said, no, 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 it's really insignificant, actually. <laughs> so this is the answer I got, I got from Tom, who was really a scientific mind, you know. You must have checked mathematically. <laughs> Does it be pollute or not pollute? Yeah. Oh, thank you. And uh, the last lung that you read, Rinpoche, there doesn't seem to be an English translation for that. Uh, could you tell us a little about what that was? I think about the karsur. Karsur is especially if uh, you, we do in the evening and especially is done for those who died recently. And in Tibetan uh, society, when somebody dies, we do this karsut, but this is a long one, actually. There's a right. short one by His Holiness Dinjim Rinpoche, and there's also a short one by uh, Penjin Rinpoche Chukinyima, which is the most popular among Tibetans, because it's short, concise. It's uh, uh, not many words, but it's not lacking any meaning. So it's especially done for those who uh, died. And yeah. I still can't understand that in, in India, we cremate the dead bodies, which means we also cremate, cremated their nose. So I can't understand how they can still smell. <laughs> 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 I thought about it, you know, but then I thought, I'm thinking too much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but it says that after we died, we are so used to our this gross, seemingly solid body. After we died, we still hang on to this body so much that we still think we are in this, this form. And this is called, we call it the mind-made body, mind-made body. So it's yeah. probably, probably the dead person smells through the mind-made nose. <laughs> and then get this satisfaction uh, mm. uh, from from smelling. And it's quite actually easy to understand if you have the nose that one we while we are alive, even before eating, tasting our food, we enjoy smelling, don't we? Isn't it? First we enjoy, especially when you drink a red wine. I've seen people pick up and before drinking, you first smell the red wine and then you drink. So there is a satisfaction for, uh, from smelling, yeah. Yes, and uh, so uh, whichever sir practice, like uh, many of our people do the um, uh, the Jigme Lingpa's uh, sir practice for the deceased. So any of these sir practice is good, yeah? Yeah, they're all good actually. And Sur is also to pay karmic debts. Karmic oh. debts. As Song Sai Kendra Rinpoche says, every movement, either by body, speech, mind, emotion, thinking, we are all the time accumulating karmic debt. And how we accumulate karmic debt, basically not being grateful. Uh, towards others' kindness, and also taking others' kindness uh, or goodwill for granted. Mm -hmm. So not only we forget to say thank you, but we also often forget to repay others' kindness. So when this is not done proper, properly, uh, pro properly, then there's a call, karmic debt that we accumulate, and that has got consequences in the form of obstacles in our life, getting physically sick and mentally not happy, 
and whatever we do, something goes wrong, it's a clear sign of karmic debt. And basically, as I told you, not, uh, not re repaying others' kindness. So this is how we accumulate karmic debt. So this is one of the best ceremony to pay karmic debts. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Rinpoche. Um, Annie Zangma, are there any questions in the chat box? Yes, I'll just read. Back to the first one. Oh, Annie you've got a um, buzzing noise happening. Sorry? Okay. Buzzing noise happening. How do we know it is the right time for us? to do the poor oneself or for others. Thank you for making time to practice with us. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, at the time to do power, actually there are many different kinds of power. And according to my the current root Lama, Lama Jimmy Namgyal Rinpoche, he's a long time music uh, master. He lives in Sopema. He said, the best power, the supreme power is at the time of death when you know that you are, uh, you are really dying and the best power is when you can merge, mingle, mix your mind with your Lama's mind and merge it and remain in that state and this is the supreme power and for this power you don't need to do pet and hick and all those things. So that is, and in order to do that, we must uh, practice while we are alive. And in order to practice this, we need an introduction to the nature of the mind from a qualified Lama, Lama who had experienced the nature of the mind and make sure that you, you, get, you get it, what the Lama is trying to point out to you. And once you get it, and then you remain in that uh, state or maintain the continuity of that, what we call in the Nyingma uh, terminology, Dharmakaya or emptiness, clarity, nature of the mind. So maintain the, uh, what we call the continuity of that uh, Dharmakaya clarity mind, emptiness, clarity mind. And that is what we meant by in Dzogchen, meditation. So this we can do when we are alive. And when the death comes, this is exactly what you do, same thing. And when you are able to remain in that state of mind, when you are able to merge, mingle, mix your mind with your Lama's mind, that is the best power. But those who cannot do this power, then we have this the power with three metaphors, you know, where you say hip and pet and then you merge shoot out your consciousness and merge with buddha amitabha's heart or with avalokiteshvara's heart or your trauma nangma's heart really doesn't matter whatever you really you visualize make sure to remember your root lama in that form and that is really the most crucial point and then how to do power for others. So according to the words of my perfect teacher, if you read there in the power section, it says, un until and un un unless, and until you have reached the state of what you call Tonglam. I think Tonglam means uh, part of seeing or something in the 10 Bhumis. Until you have reached that state, one is not qualified to do power for other people. So please uh, keep that in mind. And I have checked this with my root Lama, Lama Jimin Namgyal Rinpoche in Tsopema. I said, this is mentioned like this in the words of my perfect teacher, which means not many can do power for anyone. And he said, of course it is written there, but someone with some experience of power accomplishment with a good intention, it's actually fine to do power for others. Okay, does that answer your uh, question, please? Okay. 
busy. Are you happy with that? Okay, thank you, Rinpoche. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Huh? Okay, now. I know I mentioned yes. reading this. Terrible internet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it says, is it, uh, yeah, in the morning, yeah, normally we, we do Rua Sangje in the morning because morning is uh, fresh, I think, but you can do Rua Sangje anytime. I think a few years ago, His Holiness Dalai Lama's uh, Namgyal Monastery monks, they used to do, I think, Rua Sangje a thousand times in a day. So you can't finish uh, all thousand times Rua Sangje in the morning. So they used to do whole day uh, Rua Sangje accumulation of Rua Sangche. And one thing I like to tell you that I received Rua Sangche. I like to tell I received the Rua Sangche Lung and instructions first time some 30, three, four years ago from Nyingma uh, Dzogchen Master Garche Kandru Rinpoche. So at the time when I received this, Rinpoche said, if you do only this Ru Sangju practice, you will reach where you are supposed to reach. That was Rinpoche's statement. <laughs> yeah. And then one time I was in Topema, I think with Judy Abner's group, that very clearly in my dream, His Holiness uh, Dibu Chenzi Rinpoche gave me the whole loom of uh, Ru Sangju. So I received actually the loom from <laughs> the Wichenza Rinpoche from in my dream. <laughs> so yes. all these are possible, it seems, yeah. <laughs> then, of course, I received this loom from many, many uh, different lamas. And this is one practice I do every day, although I missed a few days uh, lately. But otherwise, I do every day this. And I know this by heart. So when I... And my wife take the dogs for walk in the forest. While walking, I do this Rua Sangje three or five or seven times. Yeah. Thank you. Rinpoche, Rinpoche, can you see the questions there? Annie Zangla was yes. having a problem with her internet. So I'm not sure if the lungs are available in Lotau or not. So someone from Bhutan, I guess, asked for the lung. So I'm, I'm not sure it's available or not. Please, could, could you kindly check uh, by yourself? Yes, and we will also put the uh, links in the um, resources, Rinpoche. Um, yeah. For um, Living is Dying, people can access uh, that material through our resources for this session and yeah. uh, I noticed uh, there's a question what is the Lung Gesa practice for and uh, I'll let you explain that but it was requested by uh, many people who uh, um, do the short Gesa offering as part of uh, SOG practice as part of um, morning like um, Rewa Sancho and offering and uh, that's uh, why it was requested but I'd like you to explain what is the long Gesa practice for? Ikesar is the symbol of what we say in Tibetan Jala. Jala literally means uh, enemy deity, the deity which protects you from enemies. And when we say enemies, there are outer enemies, inner enemies, and secret enemies like that. And outer er enemies are quite uh, easy to understand. Anyone who harm you, anyone who makes you unhappy, anyone who makes uh, irritate you, these are uh, known as outer enemies. And inner enemies are the, any, the physical uh, sicknesses that we get. So probably we may say, for example, the coronavirus is, I think, inner enemy, <laughs> for example. <laughs> and the viruses and the bacteria, uh, all these are inner enemies. Uh, and the secret enemy is actually the, the mental disturbances. And 
almost all the mis- mental disturbances are purely created by our own mind, according to Buddhism. And the innermost enemy is that right now, like myself, I'm not able to recognize or see my Buddha nature mind. So it's a temporary obscuration, what we call ignorance, a dualistic view of the judgmental thinking. And that is the innermost uh, actually enemy. So this Gesar practice is to protect or to boost our immunity, to protect ourselves from these different enemies. So that is the main purpose of, I guess, the Gesar, Link Gesar practice. And the Link Gesar, who is Link Gesar, according to this propitiation, so according to this, Lingyasar is actually the combined emanation of Manjushri, Avalokitvara, Jendrasi, Vajrapani, and the activity aspect of Guru Pema Sambhava. So Lingyasar is the embodiment of all these four different deities. So this is what the Lingyasar represents. Is, does that uh, answer your question, please? I'm not sure who asked that question, Rinpoche, but that was That's a very okay. good explanation. And uh, we'll also put the English um, of the short offering to, uh, to Gesar of Ling in the resources for everyone. Thank you, Thank you Terengla. Uh, yeah. All the, you can see, are these enemies the same as Mara? Yeah, Mara, I think Mara roughly uh, translates as illusion, isn't it? The illusions or illusory uh, creations by our mind. I think that's a meaning of Mara. It says Mara is another terminology, I guess, in Sanskrit. But in English, I think it's more or less like a uh, illusory creations created by our mind. And uh, Rinpoche, there was another there was another question. All the offerings you showed at the start, how are they yeah. used? in the Riwa Sancho. And also, I'd like to ask you to please send me a photo of those beautiful offerings so that I can also put them in uh, resources, if that's OK. OK, we will uh, take a photo and send. My son will take photo and send you. Yeah. OK. <laughs> yes. But in a simple uh, one, you can just offer one, say, uh, a black tea or a juice or a milk or a wine or a, a beer. I asked actually, come to my Lama Gacha, come to Ramuche, why do we have to offer black tea? And you know, I actually at the time I was uh, new and I was kind of innocent. I asked uh, Ramuche that uh, we are drinking uh, very good tea with a butter tea and we are offering only black tea to the deities. <laughs> and I feel it's not not good motivation. He said, actually, Rambuchi said, basically, whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever make, enjoy that you enjoy drinking and eating, you can offer that. It doesn't matter, actually. Yeah. That's a fabulous answer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if there are other... Um, Questions. I can't see the questions myself. No, that we've got all the questions done, and many, many thank yous coming through. Okay, very good. I see. So I... let's conclude auspiciously. Yeah, Changza wa da chie ji xia wa dan jie su yi ran fu xi shi wa jie wa jiong shen da ge jie sa wa tan jie zhong be 
Sanjo Chirmo May you all be well and happy. <laughs> Thank you. Return to Australia soon. Let's see you soon in Australia. <laughs> Thank you, thank you 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 everyone thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Hello everyone, we'll just Hello. do the dedication in English. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this virtuous accumulation of merit we offer so that all obstacles dissolve and that the time of our death, each of us may find ease in dying and swift quick gaining enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. And next week will be the final session of our experiential book study of Living as Dying. There will be a tutor water offering and a life release ceremony to celebrate the end of the program. And if you'd like to participate in the life release ceremony, you may wish to prepare by doing whatever you're accustomed to doing for life release. Ross and I usually buy crickets from the pet shop and release those in the garden. Or you can donate to an animal refuge that saves the lives of animals who would otherwise be killed. Uh, there's a link in the chat box for a Brumby sanctuary that Chickme Cancer and Fiche recommended when we could no longer do group lobster and fish release due to a change in government regulations here in New South Wales. And there's also a link to the Edgar's mission in Victoria that save farm animals and raise awareness about the situation of these animals. And these are just suggestions. It's good to make a connection with a similar organization or a way of releasing life in your own country or area. And thank you so much for joining us for this uh, special session of Living as Dying. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Sarah. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sarah, for organizing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Everybody who helps. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.